Hello, hello, sweet souls. <laughs> Welcome back. I know it's been a little while since my last video. I did take a really, really, really good time out. I went to New Zealand for three weeks after spending a couple of days at the Northern Lights uh, in the north of Sweden. So I got to do a bit of traveling and I'm so tremendously grateful for all the things that happened. I've spent time with wonderful people. I've had wonderful nature time. I feel very connected to myself, to the earth and to the people around me, the ones that I'm physically and virtually in touch with. And I have so much appreciation for life right now that I wanted to share that with you. The first piece is around gratitude. I realized after traveling back a long, long travel that provides this beautiful little travel bubble where I get to reflect a bit, where I get to be by myself, to integrate. And of course that in itself is also tiring when you change time zones. Um, and then coming back to gray skies that dampened my mood a bit until I realized that, wait, 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 the only one that gets to cut me off of the flow of life and feeling turned on and grateful inside, that's me. So that's a choice that I make every minute of the day, essentially, to be connected or to disconnect. And I'm choosing connection over and over again. I'm choosing connection to myself. I'm choosing connection to work colleagues, to friends, to family, to new friends, to love, most of all to love, because love comes in so many forms and I feel that when I am connected deep to the love within myself that continues to flow over into my interactions with everybody else around me. And that's a beautiful thing. And each day I find so many things to be grateful for, so many moments, so many little things I notice, whether that's the interaction with my 90 new students in the course I just started teaching, um, whether it is a colleague who I haven't spent that much time with and who chose to share a deep personal thing with me. Um, whether it is that the sun did come out for a few minutes, we'll see how long she sticks around. Uh, or that I got to go on a run yesterday evening and my body really loved it. Um, that I yearn for some place that right now is on the other side of the planet and for some of the people there. And that I've enjoyed such good connection time and that that life is always in flow, that nothing is guaranteed and that there's so much beauty in all of it. Second piece, today is a beautiful day for revisiting some intentions because it's the spring equinox and it is also a new moon. So the perfect time for intentions, for taking a moment to reflect on what has been and what is and to take a look forward to see where do you wish to focus your energy and what really matters to you right now? Where are there pieces of your reality that you may want to engage with a little more? Where are some pieces that maybe you've been avoiding? And what can be harnessed from that resistance? And how can we lean more into the flow of life? So for me, that means how can I be more present with everything that's going on each moment in order to also notice my intuition better? Because that for me is a constant reminder to tie in with the flow of life. My intuition speaks in the moment and she speaks in a not so loud voice most of the time. If I ignore her on important things, she'll come back louder. <laughs> and my intention is to become better at noticing her first whispers. And I wish you a beautiful spring equinox. Celebrate, celebrate the new moon. I send you so much love and be in touch.